don't know why staring at a crunch wrap is like looking at a beautiful <laughs> rainbow or like a unicorn. It's gorgeous. It's Why like am I sun. enamored by it? You can't stare at it too long. You can't make direct or eye like, contact. Maybe it's one of those like rare jellyfish you see in the ocean that has all kinds of cool colors and tentacles that nobody's ever seen before. I knew you liked fish. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. But what I do like, I'm gonna just say it. I like this because I had it at Taco Bell. This is way better. I'm gonna give you props. I'm gonna share my love for you, my yes. brotherly love. This is way better, and please way... don't go to Taco Bell I'm anymore. Not, I'm just, I'm acknowledging where it all started. I am going to finish it though. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a cheese steak crunch wrap. Woo! Have those two ever been said together in the same sentence? Come on! Oh, Dang no. it and bring it! But before we do that, guys, do Nate a solid and go like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, and me too. Uh, be sure you click the icon, that little bell, you get a notification whenever we have a new video coming out because you do not want to miss CJ's first cooking show Truth. where we cook and we quote and we ding that bell. So we dinged it. Let's, can we ding let's, it and bring it? Okay. Do it again. Okay. One more time. Here we go. We'd like to ding. Here we go. And burn. I feel like a pioneer. <laughs> you look like the pioneer woman. <laughs> Let's get back to the fact that I am on an uncharted territory and I'm seeking out new life and new civilization. Out into the wilderness. To boldly go where no man has gone before. I love that Star Wars quote. <laughs> I hate you. Let's head over to what it is that we are cooking on, oh, Nate. This. We this. are going to be embarking on a journey with delicious sliced, pre-sliced ribeye. You can do this. Your butcher um, can do it. Yeah, for you. you get your butcher to do this. If you if you have a slicer, you can do it. I don't. You wanna know a trick? Put it in the freezer the night before, so your ribeye is, oh, sorry, put a whole ribeye in the freezer the night before. Use a, a bread knife and you can slice it really thin while it's frozen. There you go. Or you could just let your butcher do it. <laughs> Let's go over here to okay. the uh, griddle top. Guys, we are cooking on a 36 inch black stone griddle. We've got the left side that has been preheating. Um, I've got it on medium, but I'm gonna crank it up a little bit. Whoa. Cause are you sh I wanna get- Are you? Yes, I am sure. I'm sure, right? We're gonna go down with our beef. I do wanna get a nice crispy crust. Um, you know, right oil? here at the right here at the beginning, we're gonna do some olive oil and then going down with our beef. Now shaved ribeye is the way to go. Ah, but good. you could take a shortcut and do it with ground beef. It'd be more like a what does Todd call it? A cheap steak? A cheap steak, yeah. That's but all right. Shaved ribeye is the way to go. Definitely the best way to do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just breaking this up because I'm gonna season it here in just a second. I wanna make sure that I have um, some space for everything to get a little bit of love. We're gonna season it with something special today, Nate. Are we going cheese steak? We're going a cheese steak. Season it. I love this cheese steak seasoning. Yeah, let me go grab that real quick. Yeah, you do that. Guys, if you haven't got this yet, you need to find this. Acquire it. Stat. ASAP. You know what I really like this on? We did uh, french fries and we did chicken wings. Chicken wings, yeah. It's got this dust kind of effect to it. It's not quite um, like a, a granule. Right. It's like powder. And, Which uh, means it dissipates really well. Yeah. It's, what does that mean? <laughs> what, it means it flavors evenly. Oh, that's what I, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Totally. Okay, now. You want that cruise? Yeah, we're gonna let this cruise here. I'm just giving it some surface area so everything can get a nice, bit of love and I'm gonna you be doing some- My favorite part of filming you doing this is when you stick a spatula right in front of my camera and leave it for an extended period of time so I can <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey, welcome back. E, we're back over here. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna- Welcome back. We're gonna start on our veggies. Green bell Can you do it again? Is that pretty good? I got it. All right, let's go through this. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our green bell pepper and our red bell pepper and onion. Now, there is a very cool way that you can, a, a nice, easy technique to get the seeds out of the inside of your bell pepper and to, because since we're julien, gonna do a julien anyways. <laughs> you'll, you'll tongue, you'll you'll tongue, 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 tongue twister. Um, since we're gonna do a julien anyways, this is a really fun way to do it. So you're just gonna take your knife, slide it down one of those bell pepper crevices or crevasse. As, yeah, the as as they like to say, 
And then you're gonna just slide your knife in here. Oh, geez, and it just opens up for us. Oh, yeah. And you just roll and um, get our yep. pith out of there. Look at that. And Ooh, then just beautiful. grab it. Grab it. I'm gonna do thin sliced yeah. juliennes here. You're gonna do that same trick to the red one. And then we're gonna slice, not slice up, we're gonna dice up our onions. Wait, you're changing up the shape for the onion. You renegade. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave them as a julienne. I think that's a good idea. We're yeah. gonna leave them as a julienne. Okay. It's gonna be that simple, and we're gonna throw that into you our You ever meat. seen King Julian? Where did you get that yeah. pub jiggle? Yeah. I do not know. Yeah. Get up, Mort. Do not be near the king's feet, okay? Shit. Yeah. I'm gonna toss my beef real quick. Yeah, you do that. Now All we're right. gonna start, we're starting to see some of that Carmel, the Maillard reaction, if you will. Yeah, buddy! He likes, it's like uh, seeing me do like a backflip, right? Like, yeah, it makes yeah. me feel good. Yeah, it makes me feel good, because you taught me the vocal backflip, the verbiage backflip. <laughs> so we're gonna give that just a toss. Kind of uh, spread that around. And let's get back to our veggies. And then we're done, dude. We're gonna start really? to Not done, done. <laughs> done with that section at the very least. What say you to vegetables and Guys, beef fat? Uh, awesome. I say, uh, I concur. Well, thank, thank the good Lord. Thank the good Lord. I'm gonna oh, slide yeah, this dude. out of the way here. Um, Crispy beef. Look at that. What are you talking just, about? I just wanna pick that up off of the grill top and start eating that. Oh. So I've made a little room. I'm, I'm keeping all this right over here because, boys. Here it comes. I'm, I'm staying here, buddy. Okay, I'm staying here. Okay, right there. Coming down with some bell peppers. And some onions. I know the red's not traditional in a cheesesteak, but look at that. Dude, I honestly, I mean. I'm, it looks like Christmas. I'm rarely gonna do anything that traditional. So I'm gonna toss this around. Let's see if we get enough oil Should from we? that beef fat or if I need to add a little bit more Should olive we get more oil. cheesesteak seasoning on the beef? Oh, definitely. I'm probably gonna do a post dusting on the beef as well. Wow. We're talking layers on layers of that goodie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great. We're gonna get all of that cheesesteak flavor, and this has it's a it's a good bit salty. So we haven't done any salt or pepper, um, so we're gonna be getting that salt that is in the cheesesteak seasoning. So fret not, my friends, for those who are beginning to fret. I am gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Yeah, yeah, it's a little dry. Just a little medium. Oil will help transfer the heat better so we get that oh hang on for one second let me get a close-up <gasps> seeing it glorious you seeing this right here Ooh, bubbly goodness yep there we go there we go there you go thank you sir there you go we're gonna let that um start to caramelize and kind of break down a little bit get Man. soft not too much though because i want that some aroma. of that crunch that aroma oh, it's doing right? it's doing its thing right yeah guys let's check on our beef as well just to make sure pop it every now and then this is what i'm talking about like that crunch. Oh, wow. And we've got that all up in here. Dude, this is so good. We're almost there. We're almost there. We need to make our sauce, though. So let's get back and sauce it up. Let's get back to saucing. This is a really simple sauce. It's a three ingredient sauce. Yes, it is. Four. Four ingredients? One, two, three, four. Four, four ingredients. ingredients. It's 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 CJ's Fraser's famous four ingredient sauce. <laughs> Who said that? Me? Oh. Yeah. As with a lot of sauces that I do, um, we are going to be using mayo oh, as our as kind of our base, and Duke's mayo is magically delicious. <laughs> the lucky times. They're magically delicious. Horse horseradish. Horse this radish. is our next one. This is going to give us that classic uh, cheese steak. Um, that punch. That that savory taste. punch. Now I know you like. I do. A lot of horseradish. So I'm going to start there. All about it. And then um, let's see what happens next. Then we're gonna be going on. Hey, why why do people leave this in the bag? Uh, I think it's mostly just because it looks cool. I mean, do you peel the wax off of? Well, a goose. A goose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna add some Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Naga, Worcestershire, Naga, Naga, not gonna work anymore, that's for sure. Naga, not gonna work here anymore anyway. <laughs> We're gonna do a good bit there. You know what I'm gonna do also? What? I'm going over to my steak. <gasps> Look at you. I'm Look at and, you. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this, because this is kind of a, a traditional flavor. Flavor Now that, my friends, is money. I think that this beef is basically, uh, like that's 100% done. I'm gonna slide it off 
Okay. Out of our heat zone. How far do you want to go in the veggies? I'm going to toss them, and I think that they are just about done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lightly look those, caramelized. Look at those colors in there. Yeah, let's you know, pull. That gives us the texture of the vegetable Whoa. and the flavor. I'm, I'm cool with that right there, Heck man. Heck yeah. I'm going to go ahead Great and toss idea. these. Oh, a little mixage? Yeah, a little mixage. Why not, right? All right, let's get back to our sauce real quick. Yeah. So we've got mayo, we've got horseradish, we've got Worcestershire, shishar, shishar. Dude, this is savory. This is flavor bomb through the roof. All right, I'm gonna let you try this first. Oh, did I? I did Wait, I? Want to add something? Yeah. Oh, dude, you and the you were just bringing it all over dude, the place. Dude, we've got flavor. If it needs to be brought in, I'ma bring it. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so last time I made the sauce like this, you're like, oh, it's just not right. <laughs> I bet you it needs more work. work, work, work. Can I just? Yeah, just try it real quick. That's money. Is it? It's money. Perfect? Perfect. All right. Uh, like I said before, we are doing a crunch wrap. There's a couple of necessities that you need with a crunch wrap. Number one, you need a tortilla. Yeah. Number two, you need a crunchier tortilla. Yep. So we went ahead and cheated. These are some pre-baked, cooked, crisped, whatever, uh, corn tortillas. Yeah. And this is just gonna save some time. I agree. So let's get to it. Back over to our griddle top, huh? I'm with you. Okay. Wait, we're bringing it back over here? We're bringing it back over here. Well, then I'm gonna come over here. How about you do that? I'm gonna do a little bit of olive oil. Yep. You wanna do two at a time or one at a let's time? Do, let's, let's do one at a time. One at a time. Yeah. We're coming over with our tortilla. Gonna ahead and get this down in here. Moving that around. That way that olive oil gets distributed nicely. All right. Well, it's now, cruising. It's smoking. Now, now here's the thing. You might wanna move. <laughs> Quick. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to, I really want this to be cheesy. I'm gonna try to do a lot of cheese. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's cruise. All right, so we're gonna do one. Provolone. One bit of provolone cheese. Then we're gonna take our ingredients the here. The goods. And we're going to uh, now. Can I stop you? How are you gonna fold it if it's already hot on the griddle and bubbling and boiling your fingers off? You need to build it on the cutting board. Yeah, I should have. Wasn't really thinking. <laughs> I'm a. This is just where we're gonna store food for later. I'm not throwing it away. because I Take two. It. So we've got our tortilla down. We're gonna add provolone, because I really want to go extra cheesy with this. You yep. stay there. I'm here. Now, I'm not gonna go too, too much with this right away, because oh, we want to, I want to make this extra cheesy. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to leave room for more cheese. Okay. Let's do some sauce here. I'm with you. Okay. Gonna go, kind of just give this a little, little bit of a drizz. You don't want a, a dry cheesesteak. Cheese me. Cheesing it up. Cheese me, Seymour. So we're gonna add our crispy shell. More cheese? <laughs> you maniac! And then we are going to fold. That now, little cheese on top, that's like the glue. And that's fold. Sweet technique. And fold. Okay, guys. Whoa, I had a breach. That's all right. I had a breach. Let's take this back over to our griddle top. Now, I am gonna turn this down because I don't want to get too hot. I'm gonna okay. add a little bit more olive oil because somebody put a tortilla preemptively up here when they shouldn't have. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, the non-sealed side down first and let's let that do it. Let's build another. We're gonna do a little bit of cheese, filling, sauce, and then we're gonna do some more cheese because we want this to be so cheesy. Then we're gonna top it and then we're gonna cheese it up again. Hey, do you wanna press? Great idea, guy. Let's do that. Uh, here's our press. Now, you don't have to do this. If you don't have one, it's fine. This is just gonna help us achieve that extra. A little weight. Flat. Yeah. You know what, let me check on this guy real quick. Cause I bet she's ready. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, that? no. Let's head, oh, no. You know, no. use your press. Dangerous business, just put it down. That's what I'm talking about. You seen those little bubbles in there? Oh, yeah. We're getting a lot of surface area that's uh, getting toasted. And it, when we flip it, if it's not quite there yet, I might consider a dome option, but I don't really want it to get nah, soggy. No dome. <laughs> Two men enter, one man leaves. There we go. The only dome I approve of. Two men enter, one man leaves. Kind of like this show. Who leaves? Ethan, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, guys, we're gonna do this. I'm a multi flipper with my bacon. I'm a oh, multi glorious. flipper with my crispy crunch wraps. Do you, are we gonna press again? Oh yeah. Oh. Would you flip a second or I guess a third? If it requires it, I would. I'll do whatever it takes for this journey that no man has gone on before. What? This. Do you see some? Expedition to a great place of Flavortown. <laughs> Life is <shining. laughs> All right, boys, let's see how we're doing here. We've had some time for the cheese to melt. Let's have a look. That's beautiful. What is oh. that velvet? <laughs> this is beautiful. What is that velvet? See, look at that. Do you see this glue? Oh, man. man. We are set, my friend. Mama call him Cash Clay. I'm going to call him Cash Clay. <laughs> That's a great, that's a great <laughs> quote. His mama named Clee. I'm gonna call him Clee. Mm -hmm. This is the champion. What I was getting at is this is champion. Okay, buddy. Let's cut this open and see how we did. I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. All right. Let's... I genuinely just looked up from the camera to look at you. <laughs> to go back down. Because I was actually excited. Okay. No, that was genuine excitement. Okay, so um, you guys, we've got some crispiness here. Crispiness there. Bonjourno, bon boys. Bonjourno, boys. Bon boys. Okay, let's hope we did it. Cheese steak, crunch wrap. Oh, for dude. For the win. Now, guys, this is the thing. Wow. The win of this is that you can't overfill. Look at the we filled appropriately. In there. Yeah, you the see, texture. we've got the crispy, we've got the meat and the cheese. Um, that, my friends. That's a pocket of delicious right there. That is there, a pocket is. of gold. Now you could serve this with a sauce. Um, we made this really awesome sauce earlier. And, a little dipper. And uh, we could dip that sucker right there. How about I cut the other one open? Yeah. Let's do it. And then we're gonna dip. Er? I dip, you dip, we dip. <laughs> <laughs> Too far. Put your hand up on my hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. You're not, you're just gonna stand there and not dance on my I, set? No, I don't know. Get out of here. Is. Just, no, just walk. Walk. It's like what? building a building a like I'm babysitting my like, brother's it's like cousins playing or cards something. with my brother's kids or something. <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> like I'm sitting here playing cards with my brother's kids or something. <laughs> <laughs> come, back. come on back. Come on. Come on back. Okay, okay. We're cool. Okay. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, okay, come on back. Guys. Glorious. I think we did it. I think we did it. We need to give some angels its wings. No, no, with a bell. With a bell. Angels, yeah, every time. Angels in the outfit. Dude, we're done. Yeah, I've, got, I, I've been up. climbing this mountain for two years. <laughs> I'm coming back to civilization. Well, me. Okay, I'm gonna cut it and post. I'm gonna post dust. You, uh, you would. I'm you would. Post dusting, a nice dip. Wow. Why is dusting so good? I know. Mm. I'm gonna get some more to add dust. Dusting and dipping. Whoa! Dude. Really good. Whoa! That sauce is so money. That seasoning, the steak, the crunch, the cheese. Bro. Yeah. Well done. So, this is perfect. You know, the only thing that could make it more perfect, right? The comment section below, where everyone else tells you how wonderful <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, they are. It is that time, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. As always, Nate, this is in no particular order, just as I see them, I snap them, and I read them. I see them and I snap them. I, I, I see them and I snap them. Here we go. This one comes from Arblaine82, which happens to be my, Ricky B. my main home slice in Pampa, Texas. Ricky B. Uh, wow, CJ, bro, you gotta calm down. You were in such a hurry, you didn't even have time to quote an appropriate amount. <laughs> I missed the quotes. So sad. Oh. Is it like I sold out? No. It's like people only do things because they get paid. It's like people only do things because they get paid. And that's just really sad. Because I'm gonna do a better job. I apologize for not allowing Quoting an appropriate and amount of time to quote movies. Moving on, number two. Um, oh. Didn't we mention this one in the last video? I don't know. Daniel Doob. He's, he's, I think he's the guy that was probably trash talking you. No. Ah, CJ, dude, is Nate your mom? If he starts licking his <laughs> finger to clean your mouth, run, just run. <laughs> I'm gonna ring, I'm gonna ring for that one. Did that hurt your hand? 
No. Stung a little I'm not bit. Not touching your. <laughs> Stung a little. Oh, this is a, uh, from a friend of mine. Her name is Jackie. Um, my OCD self wants to place the veggies and the meats on our uh, meats in a uniform manner. Other than that, this was hilarious. Y'all are great. Thank you. She actually says what you say. You're like, hey, do you want to go ahead and take those out of the package? We'll set them up real nice like in order. No. Yeah, because it's nicer. But Jackie, here's to you, darling. Jackie! Here's to your OCD. Thank I'm you, Jackie. Trying to do a better I job. I can commiserate with your OCD. Oh, oh, this is good. All right, Ryan Bombard. Ryan D. Bum. Bard. What is that? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Love the show. I actually come here for the BS. Oh, there's plenty of it. Is that Blackstone or the BS? That's both. Okay. The cooking is a nice added bonus. Oh, so wait. It's both. Yeah, okay. yeah all right. Yeah, sorry. Ryan. Ryan. Welcome okay. to the party. Yes, thank you, sir. And this is last but not least. This one stings a little bit. Oh, fun. I can't wait. Um, Yao Mom One Two Three says, "Dang, dude, I've had six brain surgeries and play those cards often when I get bum fuzzled, but you got me whipped today. I'll laugh at your expense and wing those pizzas on the griddle." Ah, I don't know if I'm allowed to laugh. She's referencing to I, the fact that I didn't say the name right, the fact that I didn't say what it was that I was making until five or six minutes into the video. I'm sorry to hear about your brain surgeries. <laughs> We're done though. Um, guys, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. Yes, we do. So if you like this show, if you like the content or hate it, actually I don't really care, but if you subscribed, that I would be care cool. very much. That would, I, would, I would care about that. Uh, so be sure to do that, like it, subscribe, you get a notification whenever you see this video pop up with new fun recipes and ways that I look like someone with serious brain trauma based on that last comment. That just, I'm gonna have to, ha like a couple days on that one. Yeah. Guys, for this recipe and more, please be sure to go to blackstoneproducts.com. Uh, you can find some really fun swag on Teespring. You get some uh, some cool shirts from everybody. Stickers from my show, which is awesome. From our show. Fatty show. Uh, Todd's show, uh, Nate's show, all of them, are, there's a ton of fun in all of it. Uh, but this, like I said before, is CJ's first cooking show where we do cook. And we do quote. Yes, we do. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna go see someone about some head trauma. Potential head trauma. Right. <laughs> Okay, that was not <laughs> 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 <laughs>